Hi, I'm Matt Dean, a broker with Remax Realty Specialist at mattdeanrealty.com, and it's time to go to war, a bidding war that is. If you are looking to buy a home in the greater Toronto area, chances are you may find yourself in the midst of a bidding war. In any war, the key to winning is a good strategy, but bringing big guns wouldn't hurt. Here are a few pitfalls to be wary of and strategies that can help you win a bidding war or help you from regrets that will make you feel like you lost the war just to win the battle. First, realize you are at the mercy of the seller. In a bidding war, the seller has control. The more flexible and accommodating you can be, the better your chances. While buyers are always encouraged to stand by their morals when negotiating, if you want to win a bidding war, you must put your pride aside and accept that you are not in a position of power. Typically, the person with the biggest guns, or in this case, the highest price, wins the war. So forget about asking price. In fact, many times a home will be purposely priced way below market to drive interest and create a bigger bidding war. Even if the home is priced at or slightly above market value when more than one person is interested, the asking price is usually not even a starting point. So the trick is to figure out what the home's fair market value is, then what the home is worth to you. You should also consider your budget, your needs, how important the area is to you, etc. These points will ultimately decide what the price of the home should be for you. Of course, an experienced realtor, that would be me, will help you with this part of the decision making process. A good way to look at the cost of a home is to look at the monthly costs and not necessarily the ultimate selling price. It costs roughly $4.50 a month to mortgage $1,000 at current rates. So if you are wondering if you can afford to pay an extra $10,000 to win a bidding war, just add $45 to your monthly budget and see if you're still comfortable. It would be a shame to lose a bidding war for a mere $1,000 when an extra $5 would be insignificant to your budget just because you are focused on and emotionally attached to the larger number. The next thing to consider when gearing up for battle is you may only get one shot at the target, two at most. These are not normal back and forth negotiations. You must go in with your strongest offer. That doesn't just mean the highest price you're willing to pay, but with no conditions or at the very least as few conditions as your situation will allow. Sellers want firm offers. Of course, if a seller accepts a conditional offer, they may assume a risk that something could kill the deal and it's unlikely they'll be able to go back to one of the other offers to get the same money. It's only logical a seller will give a firm offer more consideration than a conditional offer, even if that conditional offer is slightly more money. Another point on the money side, have the deposit ready with the offer. This shows the sellers you are serious and may increase your chances. The larger the deposit, the better, of course, but 5% is an accepted minimum. With that being said, the best way to submit a firm offer comfortably is to be prepared and do your due diligence beforehand. Get a guarantee from your lender that they will back the firm offer, so there's no chance of the finance falling through. If you want a home inspection to put your mind at ease, get one before you put an offer in. Of course, you'll have to pay for the inspection, whether you get the home or not. However, the money spent on the home inspection that proves a home is not well maintained or has expensive problems will save you a lot of money and hassles and is money well spent. The trick is to give yourself the best chance of winning while still protecting yourself and your interests. While buying a home is an emotional process, it's very easy to get excited and emotionally attached to a home. It is very important that you step back and detach yourself from the outcome. Putting a firm offer over asking is no guarantee that you will win. Many buyers have stretched themselves way too thin just to win the battle, but they've lost the war. Paying over asking should not mean overpaying. Unless you're planning on staying a home for a very long time and you make a conscious decision to pay well over market value, not asking price, market value, you may regret it when you try to sell and the market's not as hot and you lose money on your investment. Bidding wars are no fun for anyone except the seller. As an accredited buyer representative, I will help you plan your strategy beforehand, make sure you know your limits, and help you stay detached to give you the best chance of winning the war and being happy with your victory in the future. Be sure to check out my video on why I always present offers in person to hear how, as a certified negotiation expert, I have had great success in multiple offers even when my buyer was not the highest offer. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. And remember, it's all about you. Thanks for watching.